This is your world. And sometimes it gets turned upside down when someone you love dies. It's hard enough to go through those first few days and weeks. But what about that first year? And what about the rest of your life? We all react differently to losing someone. A lot depends on how the person died and how close you were. I was really young when my dad died, and I remember being told that he was gone, but I just didn't know what that meant, and I didn't realize how much it would affect the rest of my life. When my friend died, it was the hardest week of my life. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't think, I couldn't imagine my life without him. My mind and body went on autopilot for quite a while. I just felt numb. I lived with my grandmother my entire life, so when she died, things changed. And I think about how different I would be if she were still here. I think about that to this very day. Getting through that first year is tough. You have all those hurdles. Uh, the funeral or memorial service, the an anniversary of the death, um, the birthday of your loved one, um, the holidays. And there's no magic fix, but there are things that you can do that are helpful. Some immediate ways to deal with your grief are participate in a memorial service or in a funeral, talk or write about your loved one, display pictures, create a photo album or a memory book, maintain family traditions, talk to your loved one, or visit the cemetery. Some long-term actions are create a ceremony, dedicate or donate in your loved one's name, play their favorite music, eat or prepare their favorite foods, light a candle, or plant a tree. The hardest time is probably during the holidays. You try not to think of all those special things you used to do, but this isn't easy when there are reminders everywhere. So how do you handle it? I come from a very small family. So when my aunt and uncle died within six months of each other, we just decided to keep our traditions the same for the holidays, to honor them both. These past couple years, we started a new tradition that I think my grandmother would be proud of by adopting a needy family for the holidays. I think she'd like that. For a really long time after my dad died, we didn't get together and celebrate Christmas at all. It was a really sad time. We would look around at everyone and see them having so much fun, but we just never got to do that. But just this last year, we got together and it was just so much fun. We shared presents and laughed and it was just awesome. How I get through it is I hang out with my friends. We share stories and look at pictures. We listen to the songs that we dedicated to him. It really helps us all. Any holiday is tied to um, childhood memories, family traditions, and time that you spent with your loved one. And these connections can make it difficult when a loved one has died, um, especially when you see advertisements of the holidays and reminders everywhere. But there are some things that you can do to prepare yourself to get through the holidays. Do things differently or more simply. Maintain important traditions. Remember to take care of yourself. Talk to a friend. Join a grief support group. Or help others in need. Special moments and events in our lives can trigger our grief. It's only normal to want to be with the people we love during these times. It's also normal to revisit the feelings of our loss. Prepare yourself for these times. Ask for help if you need it and still honor the one you love. Grief is a difficult journey. But remember, you're not alone. You will get through it with the help of your friends, your family, 
in the memories of your loved one. I've learned that family is the most important thing and that it's okay to celebrate the holidays because it's a way that we honor my dad and we show our love for him. I've learned that I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was. I've learned that I'll always have my grandmother with me because she's a huge part of who I am. I've learned that I can be happy again. I've learned. I've learned. I've learned. I've learned that I'm going to be okay. <laughs>